Okay, hey everybody. Um, and once again, this is hard for me to get centered when I'm in the vehicle. Um, there we go. That's a little better. So, me and Steve are going to see another movie. This is unusual for us uh, here as of late. Uh, usually, there's not a lot of movies out that we want to go see. I think the Deadpool Wolverine movie is probably the next one we're going to go see. Um, but we're going to see Maxine today. Um, not until 1.15, but we're going to have some lunch. So... I'm excited about my scene, and I hope it lives up to my expectations for um, for the uh, like the other movies. Like X was fantastic, Pearl was fantastic. A lot of people said they liked Pearl better than they did X. What well, what did you say, Steve? Um, it's hard to to uh, so, sometimes I think Pearl's better. The next, and the other times I think they're about the same. Okay. They're different stories, so it's a little bit different. I'm trying to remember, Steve. I've, I've forgotten. Did we go see X at the movies? Yeah, yes. we did. Now I'm remembering because yeah. we actually talked. <laughs> we were in the movie theater, and I recorded a little snippet of Steve yeah. saying he was going to see an X-rated movie. I remember now. Um, so, have you read any? Uh, have you read any reviews or anything? Because the movie, what, came, did it just come out yesterday or Thursday? Yes, uh, Friday. Friday. Okay. I mean, I've heard it's good. I've heard people say that it's okay. Somebody said, like, it's got, it's Jello-inspired stuff, and then it's kind of like a video nasty. It's all kind of all over the board. So, it, you know, I don't, it'll be, it'll be okay at, at the very least. Well... Uh, I think I'm making Steve nervous uh, having him on camera all the time. And there's, like, something... I think Steve dripped sweat on my phone earlier. Yeah. No. I'm going to have to get that off there because it's, like, bothering me. Um, but uh, I don't know where we're going to eat at. I mean, I don't know if anybody cares where we're going to eat at, actually. But uh, uh, I said we're going to eat at McAllister's, which is right near the movie theater, or where are we going to eat? And Steve said, well, either eat there or somewhere around there. So, um, I'll probably let this go now because this is just our initial reactions or uh, initial expectations for the movie. Steve, our expectations are usually pretty low nowadays, right? Uh, for most things, yeah. it is. Um, but I, I initially have high expectations for this, so I hope it doesn't let me down. And we'll be back after we see the movie. I think it's only an hour and 37 minutes long, so. Well, it'll still be over two with the well, with trailers and commercials. With trailers and commercials. I don't know why they gotta do, I guess they gotta. They gotta keep getting Finance more, these more money. theaters. That yeah. Mo money. Like, more, you have to have more money yeah, uh, but you than know you did what last month. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You gotta keep, but, keep going. You gotta, uh, keep the the cranking out the movies and that costs money so we're going to get off here for now we're going to get us some lunch and then we're going to go to the theater and i'm going to have my popcorn and icy because i gotta have that and then we'll be back a little later to give you our impressions of maxine so we'll be back later all right, so we're out of the movie, and Steve was on the search for a white claw, didn't find one at Kroger's, right, Steve? I found one. <laughs> yeah, your own, your own personal white claw. So, um, I'm going to focus on me a little bit. Now, my teeth are blue, sorry. I just had an icy at the movies, and also drank a blue raspberry like Minute Maid. And, uh, Everything blue. E everything's blue, including my teeth now, so please excuse that. Um, I'm not going to give away any spoilers because that's not the way we want to do things with these reviews, but um, as the other two movies, Steve and I discussed this when the movie was over, they're all different. So, don't be expecting like a carbon copy of, you know, X or Pearl or anything like that.
like that because this one's supposed to take place in 1985. Uh, the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez, was out killing people uh, at that point in time. Oh, she was talking about somebody on the road being a moron. But, uh, um, so, this tells the story of Maxine. She's trying to break into, I guess, mainstream movies, right, Steve? <laughs> Um, because uh, she's been in adult films and she's ready to to break into mainstream films and like a lot of actresses she was going to get her start in that in horror films and so it basically covers her rise to stardom um, and also we're not sure Who's doing the killing in this movie? I don't want to... I know who Crispy's doing the killing. <laughs> okay. That's not really a spoiler, okay? But uh, there's some twists and turns along the way. And I am going to give this one five dead eights out of five. I thought it was excellent. I highly recommend it. And uh, now I'm going to turn it over to Steve to talk about it. <laughs> Steve's scared. I mean, it's, I, I mean, it, I, I get a feeling of each one of these that it's like, okay, but then it kind of grows on me, but this one, Maxine is not a very, I don't know, good, good person, and at least that's what it comes off of. I mean, she does some bad things, obviously. Uh, she, yeah, but I, I, one of the bad things she does, I can't say this person didn't deserve it. Still. No, I, I Or agree. at least a couple of I know, people. but I, a man has uh, certain things that uh, hurts when you see it, so it hurts. Yeah, well, you don't pull a knife on a woman, that's all I'll well, say. I, I don't, I'm unarmed. <laughs> if, if you're unarmed, then okay. But, anyways. But, yeah, it's a, uh, it's, they are, I mean, uh, it's definitely a romantic, romanticizing of the 80s, which, you know, well, they still had coke. And she was doing coke several times in the film. Then she, some, a cop gave her a coke, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, we got two different kinds of coke. In somebody one. works at a VHS or a video store, so it's kind of. I mean, it, it, it's interesting. Uh, I, I mean, I liked it. I don't know. Maybe I'm having a hard problem seeing lately, and maybe because it looked darker, so I couldn't make out a lot of stuff. So maybe. Once it comes out uh, uh, on Blu-ray or 4K, I'll be able to see it a little better. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what's going on with Steve's eyes. Well, I mean, it, this thing, like, it's a, in a lot of some of the scenes it's, uh, in the movie are dark. So, but you know. Yeah, I agree. Some of them are dark. But you know, overall, and, and two, there was like super annoying guy in back of us. And I was giving, I was giving the guy side glances because he was laughing. Why in the hell was he laughing at that one part in the movie? I don't know. What I don't that even know. Is, but uh, I, I, it doesn't matter. There was, a, it was during the ending scenes. Oh, uh, I don't know. But yeah, uh, there's. Unfortunately, I think the one dude behind us was in the wrong seats. And then the, they had to come. Somebody had those seats, and had, he had to, he had to move. I'm like, it's a what the fuck is so? There were open seats. I mean, all yeah, the way I mean, around. it wasn't. A, it was no near full. It was probably eight percent full in the theater. If they had just let him stay in those seats, he wouldn't have been behind us, kicking my seat. Yeah, it is what it is. But you have to deal with irritating people sometimes when you go to the movies, so. So, Steve, you, you got anything else to say or you want to give a rating for this one? No, I mean, it's just, I mean, I would recommend it if you like the other two movies. Just be prepared that this is a, more of a, kind of a, 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 a slasher, kind of mean-spirited. Mm. I thought it had a jello element. Well, to some it, of the too. lighting and stuff. And the black gloves. Yeah, that was true. So, I mean, it, it does have a little overtones of a, like a New York Ripper kind of killer. Mm -hmm. I don't, no duck voices, but, you know. <laughs> no. But, yes, yeah, it's, it's a, it's, I recommend it if you like the others. Just, uh, you know, obviously the setting's a little different, obviously. 
It's in California, not Texas. Yeah. So, and then uh, that's it. And uh, what? Well, how many deadites would you give? I don't know about deadites. I give it about a four out of five. Four. Okay. So Steve gives it four deadites out of five, and I give it five deadites out of five. So it's so got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got almost a ten. Or maybe yeah. So uh, we're gonna cut this off um, because we're we're gonna be home soon. And, uh, so, yeah, definitely, if you can, go out to the movies and see Maxine. Right, Steve? Indeed. Okay, we're out of here.